Hi, this is Chris Jobling. I'm one of the LTHE Chat member group members for the um, April to June 2016, and I'm here to show uh, my colleagues and anybody else who might be interested how we set up the uh, Martin Oxy Tags Explorer for our chats. So here I am in my Google Drive, and I'm going to go into the LTHE Chat project. And in here we've got stored a copy of my Martin Orcs's Tags version 6 spreadsheet. So I'm going to open that up. And it comes with fairly good instructions. Uh, I've already got this set up for using with my Twitter account, so I, I shall not go through the step of, of, of doing of connecting to Twitter. But I'll show you how we use the tags um, for our new uh, tag explorer so i'm going to capture the tags that we had for the last chat and what i'm going to do is first of all make a copy of this and we'll call it lthe chat 53 which was what we had last week or this week and all i need to do now when this comes back is first of all enter in the hashtags for the chat that we had this week and, and this week it was just LTHE chat so I'm going to type hashtag HTL HTH I'm just trying to type in, in that field So we've got a search term here, LTHS. You can use uh, logical to logical expressions to uh, to bring in more uh, hashtags or different people, whatever. Um, the other thing you might want to do is just enable the custom menu, and this requires authorization from Google itself. Uh, so it'll be authorized on my account, on my behalf, uh, which basically just means it can run. Yeah, automatically and when that's done we will end up with this tags menu up here uh, where you can set up your Twitter access if you haven't done that already you can do various things to the data uh, add a summary sheet which I'll do that's quite useful and I'll also add dashboard sheet and that brings up these two useful views you see for the for the spreadsheet and the summary. I haven't run it yet so there's nothing much to show and this is the archive where the actual tweets will be kept and with all the information ne needed to produce those nice squiggly wiggly graphs that are produced. We'll leave everything else set here but I'll reduce the number of tweets down to about 1500 which is probably enough to cover the tweets announcing the chat from Sunday up to the end of the tweets, or the most significant tweets after the Wednesday chat finishes. Uh, you can always adjust that or stop this thing whenever you feel it's appropriate. Um, when we get this going, it'll run every hour, every hour until, until we stop it. Um, so for this particular case, I'm probably just going to run it once in order just to get some data which will probably cover us from uh, with sufficient time but we will have a look to see how far back it goes once the data is finished so it's running uh, collecting the data from twitter putting it into the spreadsheet and in a minute once the uh, menu goes you can see a thousand one hundred and twelve tweets being captured we go into the archive and you'll see that the data is arranged but in reverse chronological order so the newest tweet at the top and the oldest at the bottom so I'm going to scroll down this list to see where how far we go uh, and there's 1486 and you can see some of these chats related to the last one back in April 2027 20, so what the first thing I'm going to do is just tidy this up a bit. Um, our first 
tweet that was actually about the tweet chat that we had this week was down here. Not to 54 Captain Classy, Dr. McGuire. Uh, Monday, May the 2nd. go get rid of the data that doesn't really apply to this this chat that we're setting up here so I just delete that and so that's the data and now we can see the summary uh, and the dashboard Over here it tells us that we need to file publish in order to see these. So let's do that file publish to the web. And that gives us this, uh, this link here, which I'll copy just the, that bit of it. And you should be able to just click here and it should take you to the view but I've not found this to work particularly well and so what I found I had to do is go just to the tags explorer and type in the or paste in the actual key get the sheet names from that and say go and that seems then to work i don't know why we need to have this extra step but that seems to be what's required uh, and there's the, the tag which you can you can publicize and if you come back over here you can also get the archive which seems to work without having to do anything particular so that's how we set up a tweet chat now that's live and we can take this uh, tag explorer here and we can uh, publicize that to our network so thanks for watching